Hey, welcome. We are going to be doing 11.3 AB number 4. Create a circle chart to represent your classmates' response to the following questions. Record your classmates' answers in the boxes below. Uh, ask between 12 and 30 people. Well, we may do that in class, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make up some data for us to do, uh, to work with. So let's go with, we'll, we'll shoot for the full 30 people, and let's us go with 18 here. Um, let's go with four because who would want skittles when you know <laughs> these are pretzel m ms if you're wondering why there are so many people who chose them this would be eight here uh so if you haven't got any data from your class you can use this data here all right so we need to calculate the angle that represents each of these categories okay so here's the m ms here's the skittles here's the hershey hershey kisses so well we know that 18 out of a total of 30 will be proportional to some number of degrees out of 360. So we can multiply diagonally and then divide. Let me just grab the little calculator here. So 360, take that times 18, and then we will divide that by 30. We've got 216 degrees. Now let's just think about it. Does this make sense? Oh, 15, 15 out of 30 would have been half of a circle, which would be 180. So, yeah, this makes sense. Looks like they've already got us a circle down here started. So I'll just do this first one for you. Go ahead and, uh, like I said, just make a line at some point. You know, you start off by making a radius. You need some place to start with. All right, and then again, I always turn to my 9 o'clock, get this lined up. And... I think I'm going to slide to my smaller protractor here. You can always extend out your radius. I'll just show you how to do it. You know what? It, you know, if your protractor doesn't work, just extend it out. Extend that line out so you can get an accurate reading. Okay. So now, now I've got it lined up at my 9 o'clock. I'm right, right at 0 over here, just a touch over. And we've got to go to 216 degrees. How are we going to do that? It only goes to 180. Any ideas? Well, we could do it a couple of ways. We could say that, all right, well, first, it's going to go over this far is going to be to that far there. There's 180 degrees. And then we can just come on over here, and we can add on. We could take 216 we can subtract the 180. We've got 6, 11 minus 3 of 36 degrees. This is probably the simplest way to do it. And then we're going to have to make a 36 degree angle from here. So again, I'm going to line up here. Okay, make sure we've got that right on the dead center, all the way across. Pretty solid. And we'll go to 36 degrees. Here's 40, 35, 36 degrees. So, connect these two here. And this is going to be the M, M portion. Uh, the pretzel portion, and it'll be 216 degrees. All right, but again, these aren't, uh, this is, you know, circle graphs are great because they're very visual. It's very easy to see how parts of a whole compare but they're not very, very accurate. So you can see my lines coming in a little bit off there. We're working with, we're, we're imperfect as people and our tools are pretty basic. All right, thanks a lot for listening. Good luck finishing these up.